Hello, this is Dana with Freedom Please and EssenceOfMe.com, and you see the same. I'm trying to get all my videos done. I have a crazy week this week, but I wanted to, um, I was catching up on my subscriptions, and I saw a tag by my friend and girl, Poet Spice, and um, Bobby over at Country Girl did it as well. Hello, ladies. So I decided, let me go ahead and do one. Um... And the crazy part is, I know a couple of them, I probably needed to think a little bit more about the answers. So I'm going to actually do it, this video, as a response to um, Poet Spice's original video. And we can take it from there. Okay. Um, how do you store your finished products? Well, some of it you saw in my yarn stash video for January to, uh, 2012. And I do a couple of things, um, or I actually said finish your finished products. That's what I said, right? Okay. Um, what I do is the first thing that I usually do is if it's an order, I have I put it in the Ziploc baggies and you know put it in there so that it just stays nice and together and folded pretty and everything. And then I have a really big storage tub that snaps close that they're stacked in, you know, by that. that um, I also, for larger projects, those bags that I showed in that stash, the yarn um, stash video, are what I use as well. Those huge comforter bags and the um, little ones with the handles, depending on the size. But usually, my finished products don't fit in one of those because I do the, I do bigger stuff sometimes. Um, for the smaller things, like the little jewelry bags, I use. So if I do like earrings or um, bookmarks or anything small like that I use those little jewelry ones so that's how I do it and then I try my best to kind of keep the person's name or whatever with it and put it in the bag and put it in the bag so everything is done so that when I go to ship things it's orderly second question what is your favorite yarn brand and or type my I honestly don't have a favorite yarn brand. I think right now my favorite is whatever is accessible and has a, an array of color choices. Um, I'm getting better at my color selections because I like warm tones. So I tend to stick to the warm tones. Um, and so I'm trying to kind of get out of that. And even though it turns out pretty to some, I may not like it as much. And so, and part of this is because I love doing it, right? So, um, so right now, I would have to say I buy a lot of Red Heart, but um, um, in the when it's really cold, or if I'm doing prayer shawls for maybe uh, older people, or if someone's doing an order for like their mother, I love to get the um, wool. Can't think of the. Uh, I want to say it's Burnett, but I can't think of the brand right now. And so I really love it, especially when they have it on sale at, I think they usually have it on sale at Michael's. Anyways, I'm trying to remember. So, um, but they usually have the, like almost it looks like the one pound. So I like that. I love that. It's just, I only use it for, for the prayer shawls, but I love it because it feels so warm and soft and fuzzy. But at the same time, I don't like like all the straggly things that fall off. So, anyways, um, type. I don't have a favorite again. It depends on what I'm making. Right now, I'm, I am enjoying using my 100% cotton. I love to look at the difference between the way that it lays versus the acrylic. I also like to look at the difference between like your Red Heart and your Karen um, because um, it was actually noticed by my husband and he pointed out to me I did the same pattern or same shawl with two different brands and it almost looks totally different. So. Um, so yeah, so I really don't have a type of right now and I'm enjoying the cotton, but pretty much I use acrylic because of, i got to go for affordability, keep the prices down and keep things moving and to be able to give as many as I like to give. Question number three, favorite pattern or tutorial? Okay, I have a favorite pattern. I'm trying to look around to see if I have it in here. It's, it really shouldn't be a favorite because I don't know how to do it yet. Here it is. Stitch Diva Studios. Studios. 
does fantastic patterns. But, okay, newsflash about me and crocheting. I do not like counting stitches. <laughs> so that's why I like to freestyle. I like to just go. But I bought this pattern from her. And if I ever make this thing, I will be bouncing all over this video because you could not tell me anything. I would be the bomb.com. I'm sorry. Um, I wonder if I can show a picture. No, I don't want to show a picture because I don't know what that will mean. But I'll try to find the link and put it. But it's it's called an Endless Crochet Cardi Shaw. It is beautiful. And so I have literally, I bought this pattern forever ago. And I work a little bit on it, I work a little bit on it, and it's, and it's not because I can't read the pattern, because I can do it. It's just that I can, I, I will count for a little while, and then I'm like, I'm tired of counting. Counting every single stitch, that's just too much for me. So, that's the one that I think is a favorite, because I think it's so beautiful, and I know that when I do it, it's going to be so nice. So, maybe that'll be my, like, a new goal for myself. The stitch that I want to, um, the, um, she's, Oh, oh, in a tutorial that I'm working on right now, which is the interlock tutorial done by, I think it's Bob Wilson123. I hope I'm right. If I'm not, I'll correct it in the description. I had to pull apart what I'd done before because I was just going and I didn't do something right. So I took it all apart and, um, and I'm going to do it again. But I am loving it. Oh, I can't wait to put it into something. So that is one of my favorite tutorials, but I have so many favorites on YouTube because people make great tutorials here. So um, that's my favorite tutorial. Crochet stitch you'd like to try. Okay, I have a crochet stitch that I'd like to try and I can't remember what it's called. I bought the tool. I, I never was able to do it. Again, the counting thing. I know. Get over it, Dana. Okay, it's like a... What is it called? It's like a fish tail. You use the thing that looks like a um oh heck. This woman did it again. She did another one in it. Oh, hairpin lace stitch. I'm sorry, I should have been prepared. Hairpin lace stitch. That's the one. I have everything to do it. Um, I tried to do it and I made something, but you have to do so many of them, and again it's the counting thing. Because then, you, to be able to make something, you have to make long stretches of like hundreds and hundreds of wrap and flip and wrap and flip. And I like to go into zone out. And um, that's not a zone out zone. Okay. Uh, um, item that I have not crocheted that I would like to is, um, that I haven't done so far, is socks. I love socks. I'm always wrapped up because I'm always cold and I love socks. And I tried one time, and and so I didn't do it. So I am being cured of the sock thing. I I'm I'm claiming it by um, Ron Strong Designs because I am in on his um, crochet along for socks. So poet spice girl, back to you. Have a good day.